y'all, it's Nerdy Dog Girl again here. Before we start this video, I just want to show you guys um, what I ended up doing with Riley. If you watched my last video, I was trying to figure out um, a new outfit for her because she was wearing the same outfit for a really long time and girl, she needed to change. Um, so she was wearing um, a Wicked shirt with the wig that I made her at Anime North as well as some cute little um, bohemian like pants. So I decided to change her up and so this is what she's wearing now. So she's got her um, brown hair wig. I don't know where her like wig that she came with, I don't know where I put it. Um, but so I got like the next best thing because I wanted the kind of brown color on her. And then I put this cute little doll heart top and then these striped pants. And I think she looks kind of cool. So um, I just thought I, th I would show you guys what I ended up dressing her like. So bonding. Bonding with a doll. Sorry, I'm just going to put her down. So this topic comes up like all the time on on Facebook groups, on Den of Angels, on any really um, group where you can talk to other collectors. I've seen this, this question numerous times. I can't bond with my doll. What is wrong with me? Quite often, it's people that have, you know, worked really hard to save their money to get this Grail doll. They're so excited and it arrives and they just cannot bond with that doll. And they think, you know, what is wrong with me? Why can I not bond with this? This is, you know, I've been waiting forever for this. Or, you know, you see a doll and you think, oh, that doll's so beautiful. I'm gonna buy it. It arrives, same thing. Just, it's not there. One second, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> or, you have a doll for a, for a while and you bond with them, but then that bond starts to break down and you don't feel the same sort of way towards the doll anymore. And I'm here to tell you guys, this is totally normal. This has totally happened to me numerous times. It's happened to, I cannot think of a single doll collector that this has not happened to. If it has not happened to you, that's awesome. Like, who you know teach me your tricks because most people have this happen and it's okay the thing that we need to remember is these dolls are they they are more than just dolls they're more than just collectibles you know most of us have very strong connections with our dolls um, you know, they're, they're who we envision for our characters, for stories we've made up. They're, they're um, you know, maybe a part of us that we see in that doll. Like, um, you know, you want tattoos, but you could never do that. So you get a doll that has tattoos because you really love the art form, but it's just not something you could do. And, and so on and so forth. We love dolls for various reasons and then when it doesn't work out we feel like we've done something wrong and it's it's not true thing is they are special they are more to us than just objects but in a sense they still are objects and just like um any other part of our life we grow we change and things that we love can grow and change too. Um, I have had so many different dolls over my lifetime and ones that I have been like so in love with and been so excited to, to have and then you know I've had them for years and then there's the, the connection is gone or I've fallen in love with another doll and I'm like, hmm, who's going off the island? <laughs> and sometimes I feel really bad about that because I think, you know, 
how can I just give up something that I loved so much so easily? It's almost like you feel like it's one of your children that you're giving up. The thing is, it's not one of your children. Now, no, that's not saying that people do not feel that close to their dolls because that's obviously not true. But they are, are, they're little vessels for us to love and to, you know, inspire us and bring us joy. And when they stop doing that, then we, we want to move on and that's okay. Um, I personally have tried all these different size dolls. I've tried different makes and models. Um, I know for myself that I am very attracted to like the cutesy little dolls, but then once I have them, I don't really have much to do with them. So spending, you know, $500 on a little tiny doll that I can't really do anything else with that I enjoy. Um, because for me, the thing that I enjoy the most about my dolls is taking pictures of them and um, dressing them up. And my favorite ones tend to be ones that I can make little fashion shows for and little fashion sh um, shoots. So that's why for me, my personal favorite ones will always be ones that are small enough that I can, you know, take and just take a picture of them and make the scene, anything I really want, um, using props that I find at stores and stuff. And for me, the smaller, um, like the 16 inch size BJDs, for me, that is my favorite size for that specific thing because I can tend to fit them in smaller spaces. I can, you know, um, they're not so hard to carry around, but then I love, I've, um, you know, gotten my, um, Ezra and my, um, Riley and they are much bigger. They're the SD size, but some of the SD size I've been able to bond with and others I haven't because I can't do that with them like I can with the 16 inch ones. So... I know for me personally, I felt bad because I couldn't necessarily bond with some of the dolls and it was for various reasons like the sizing or what have you, but it is very normal to feel bad about giving this doll up. And also it's normal to feel very disappointed when you have put so much emphasis and like hope into this doll that's supposed to arrive and then when it arrives and it's not what you want you think, oh, like, it sucks. But I'm here to tell you guys, it's okay. That's what's so great about this hobby. There are so many, so many dolls out there and so many designs and so many looks and so many sizes. And if one doll you get, you don't bond with or you bond with it and then that bond is lost, it's okay you will find that bond again with another doll. And, you know, we're, we're always evolving as people, or at least that's the hope. So it makes sense that sometimes you're going to evolve out of certain dolls and not into other dolls. If I had not evolved, I would still have my fashion dolls and I would not have BJDs. And I am very grateful that I have given up most of my vinyl dolls to have BJDs because they have brought so much more to my life than the vinyl dolls did for me personally. And for some people, they're going to find that they are more, they get more joy out of vinyl fashion dolls than they do out of BJDs. And that's fine. That's great. Again, that is what is great about this hobby and this world. There's lots of choices. There's lots of um, options out there. So next time you get a doll or you have a doll and you're feeling guilty because you're not bonding anymore or you didn't bond when you got them, don't feel bad. Being said that, 
when I first get a doll, I try and give that doll at least a month before I sell it if I don't bond with it right away. You know, I try on different outfits, I try different eyes or wigs if it's a BJD. And um, I really give myself the time to, to see if I'm sure that this is what I want to do, sell it. Now, with dolls that I've had for long periods of time and I just lose that bond, I again try, you know, putting new clothes on them, putting new eyes in and, and, and you know, trying out a new photo shoot or whatever. Because sometimes that's all you need to like reignite that that feeling with that doll sorry mm. so again don't feel bad it's perfectly normal and it's not the first time that it will probably it's not the first time that it's happened and it's probably not going to be the last time that it happens and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please make any comments or questions down below and like I've said before, I want to make another video where you guys ask me some questions and I answer them for you. Um, I cannot do that until you guys start asking some questions. So I'm going to put some um, reminders on my Facebook page and hopefully my Instagram. Um, so yeah, guys, check those out. And thank you guys so much again for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.